Hello, it's Ben Housel here, and in this tutorial I want to share some very quick clips for editing audio levels on the fly. So we're working with a single track edit here on our main storyline, and I've got a voice track here for a video tutorial I'm creating. And just here we've got a gap between two sentences where there's a heavy breath in that gap, and I want to drop that down. But rather than grabbing the tools to do that, I want to do it by marking an in and out point on the timeline. So essentially what we have is this. Drag that right down. And I want to remove that breathing sound. So I'm just going to turn the volume down. We don't need to have that up for the demo. So I'm going to play back here and I'm going to come to the end of my last word here, mark an in point, play forwards and mark an out point. And there's a couple of different ways I can do this. One is to hold down control and tap L. And you can see in the middle of my Final Cut Pro 10 interface here, I can add or remove a particular value from the audio level. So I'm going to type in minus 25. So I don't completely remove the sound. And you can see in that selection that I've marked with in and out using the I and O keys and then control and L and minus 25, I've quickly dropped that audio level down. Now, if we deselect that, so shift command and A, you can see um, we've got a couple of keyframes in there, which is then reducing the audio around that point. Now I'm just going to undo that to show you the second method. So I'm going to use command and Z to undo that and we'll deselect that so we can start from the beginning. So I'm going to play backwards, play forwards and mark an in point by tapping I and then play forwards. And I'm holding down K and tapping J or L to move forwards or backwards one frame at a time. So I'll mark an out point here and then I'm going to use control and the minus key to move down by one at a time. So you can see here, I can gradually dip that audio or use control and the plus key or control and equals to bring that back up. So you can see we can really quickly adjust our audio levels as we're playing through and working on an edit in Final Cut Pro. And hopefully that's useful if you're doing a lot of voice editing and you just have certain spots where you need to dip down either a breath or a click or a pop that's in the background. If you have any questions about editing in Final Cut Pro 10, then leave a message below or you can follow me on Twitter. I also have a brand new Final Cut Pro 10 class on Skillshare and I'll leave a link below to that and I hope to see you on the next tutorial.